Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome back to a brand new Fallout 76 news video and just a little short one today as Bethesda have been reasonably quiet the last couple of weeks which is not hugely surprising if a little uh, underwhelming but we have a little information on a couple of new events coming up this weekend including one that is brand spanking new and there have been a couple of questions hanging around about so nice to have those clarified but let's jump in and have a look shall we? Okay then, so as I say, it's short and sweet today, but uh, we've got a couple of little things that are coming on over this weekend. So back before Christmas, Bethesda released the quarter one community calendar for Fallout 76, covering a number of new events and everything that's going to be going on between January and March, at least in terms of the community events as opposed to the, the big patches. And uh, we've had a couple of bits and pieces from that already, and we're into a new weekend this weekend. So the first thing on the list is that there is a double XP weekend running off this weekend, which is running from Thursday through until Monday. So starting 12 p.m. Eastern Time and ending 12 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday the 25th. That's the uh, big main one that was actually listed on the community calendar, but they are also running one of the new events as well, which was not initially on the community calendar, but they've obviously decided to bring it forward and introduce it this weekend as well. Probably partly because there's not a vast amount going on, and also because there's another one of the new events that they've got listed uh, that is running next weekend, I believe, so that should be worth a look as well. But the one they're running this weekend is the Caps of Plenty event. So this has been an open question ever since we found out uh, that A, that this event was happening, and B, that there were testing a, an increase in the number of caps that robot vendors have in the game. Um, obviously putting two and two together, the obvious conclusion is that this event is going to be a temporary increase in the number of caps available from robot vendors. And confirmation here, that's exactly what it is. So Bethesda have said on the forums this afternoon that alongside this weekend's double XP event, we're also running a Caps of Plenty event, which doubles the total daily caps available through, from vendors throughout Appalachia. Between the same dates as the double XP weekend, so from today through till Monday, 12pm Eastern Time until 12pm Eastern Time on Monday, that's 5pm for those of us in the UK, you will be able to sell even more items to vendors to pocket up to 2,800 caps per day. So kind of confirms the uh, suspicion, answers the question once and for all. That's basically going to be a temporary thing. I know not everybody's going to be overwhelmed by that, but I have kind of mixed feelings. A lot of people would prefer to see the amount of caps you can carry increased, you know, 50,000, something like that, to another 30,000 total. But uh, to be honest, if you do that and you then increase, obviously, the amount that you can charge things in player vending, all you're going to see is certain items just jump by whatever amount they increase the price by, and then it basically won't make a great deal of difference after a couple of weeks, everybody will just be running at the new total, so I don't think that's really going to achieve a great deal, except push prices up. So, this is not a bad way of allowing us to get a few more caps from time to time a little quicker when you want to, but as it is, it's not that hard to grind out caps if you really want to, so if you set your heart on it, you can easily earn the money fast enough. So, swings around about it. It's not an overwhelming event, but it's, it's a thing that's happening this weekend. So, as I say, that's running until Monday at lunchtime in the US, tea time in the UK. Um, there's a couple of other notes to attach to it. Firstly, that vendor caps reset on a per player basis every 20 hours. That's just the standard, that's the way it already works. But it, what that means for players on in game already is that if you've already spent or already cleaned out the vendors in short, you may have to wait until your personal reset some 20 hours later, whatever that may be in order to see the increased cap pool. So depending on how much you've sold to vendors in the last day or so, it may not be immediately available from this point in time. You may have to wait for the reset. So worth bearing in mind, it's uh, rather than completely rejigging the way in which the vendors work, it just allows it to be built onto the existing sort of reset system, re stock I suppose of cap system. So good to know if you're uh, selling a lot of stuff at the moment. So there we go, short and sweet, double XP this weekend, along with uh, double caps available from vendors. So, not massively surprised that there isn't a lot more going on with the game at the moment. Would like to see a little bit more happening, basically, who wouldn't? It'd be uh, a lot more engaging and interesting rather than just repeating the same old stuff. But um, given what's coming up with the patch, which is probably due on Tuesday, they haven't said outright, and but that seems like the likely scenario. Um, they've basically covered everything, it's the changes to the inventory, layout, the HUD, basically, and your pet boy. A couple of changes to the map, a couple of other bits and pieces besides. It's not... There's not a huge amount to say about it, really, so I'm not surprised that those haven't been particularly forthcoming. Hopefully that means that afterwards uh, whatever they do during February will be considerably more interesting and we'll get a deluge of news in coming weeks, but... Uh, 
For now, this is what we've got. So, I do hope you folks found this useful and informative. If you did, please do consider dropping subs and likes. It's always very much appreciated. Very much helps the channel out. If you're interested in such things, social media links, merch store, and channel membership, all down below the video as well, if you want to support the channel in that way. It's hugely, hugely helpful and appreciated. So, massive thanks to everyone who's done that already. And if you get a chance to join us for the live streams as well, obviously continuing to play Fallout, working through the current season, Scribe of Avalon, having some fun there. We've got a new character on the go as well. And we are also playing our way through Cyberpunk 2077 as well and things are getting pretty cool the story is really picking up pace now so lots of fun to be had with that so i do hope you'll join us for those but for now i'll say thank you very much for watching and i look forward to speaking to you all very very soon